What's going on everybody? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So whether you already have a credit card or maybe you're looking at getting your first credit card, picking the right one can be a little bit daunting because there's so many options out there. So today we're gonna to take a look at the top five best credit cards in 2020. So let's jump right into it. So first, I think it's important to address the elephant in the room that a credit card is a financial tool used to build your credit and in a lot of cases get you free stuff. It is not a crutch that enables you to buy things that you can't afford. And by this I mean, if you can't view your credit card as cash or a debit card, then you probably shouldn't be having that card in the first place. So if you're taking your credit card and buying things that you wouldn't buy anyways, then you probably shouldn't be using that card. You need to view your card as if it's cash because if you're carrying a balance on that, the crazy interest that you're paying is gonna negate any of the benefit that we're gonna talk about in this video. So just keep that in mind and know that it is a tool, not a crutch. And with that being said, let's take a look at the top five cards for 2020. So the first card on our list is the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards credit card. Now, this is a pretty popular cashback card that offers 1.5% cash back on every single purchase, and you also get a $150 sign-up bonus as long as you spend $500 in the first three months of owning the card. Now, some people really like the simple cash back, and there's no rolling categories or things that you have to activate every few months. So for a lot of people, this is best because it's simple, they can use the card as if it's a debit card and pay it off every single month. There's also no foreign transaction fees on this card, so if you're gonna be traveling abroad, then this would be a great option for you. The interest rate is variable between 15 and 25%, but this shouldn't matter at all to you because you're never, ever going to carry a balance on this card, ever. So overall, this is a great card if you just want the simple cash back. And the best part is, it all comes for the low price of nothing. Next up on our list is the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. Now this is a high run card in my opinion, so if you don't have any credit history, then you probably wouldn't get approved. So you're gonna to wanna to select a different option on this list, but it does have a lot of great travel benefits that we'll take a look at. So unlike the last card, this focuses on travel. So with all travel and dining expenses, you get two points for every dollar that you spend. You also get various travel bonuses, like five times back on every dollar you spend on things like Lyft. And of course, the reason that most people get this card is that you get a 60,000 point bonus when you spend $4,000 in the first three months of owning the card. And 60,000 points is worth about $750 in travel vouchers. Now, if you're thinking that $4,000 in the first three months is insane, then you're probably not alone, and that brings us to some of the cons of this card. So like I said before, this is not exactly a starter card, so if you have no credit history at all, then you probably wouldn't get approved for this card and wanna pick something else on this list. It also has a $95 annual fee, but if you do travel a lot, then you'll probably make this back with all the various benefits. In my opinion, this is a great alternative to the very popular but expensive American Express Platinum and Gold cards, which offer similar benefits but have an annual fee that is significantly higher. At $95 a year, you're getting a lot of points back and a lot of benefits, so if you do travel a lot, it is worth your while. So number three on our list is the Capital One Saver Cash Rewards credit card. So this is a great card if you go out to restaurants very often because you get 4% cash back on dining and entertainment, 2% cash back on groceries, and 1% cash back on all other purchases. And you're also gonna get a $300 bonus if you spend $3,000 in the first three months. And I know that $3,000 might seem like a lot, but if you're buying things that you would already buy anyways, then a $300 bonus is a lot higher than some of the other cards on this list. And just like the last card, this also has a $95 annual fee, which isn't that high when compared to some other cards. So if you are gonna go out a lot and go to different restaurants, then you probably will make that annual fee back since you get 4% on dining and entertainment. Overall, this is a great card if you do go to a lot of restaurants because of that 4% cash back on dining and entertainment. And you also get a pretty hefty sign-up bonus if you spend that $3,000 in the first three months. And next up on our list is the Discover It Cashback card. And this card holds a pretty special place in my heart as this was my very first credit card. Let me know down in the comments what your first credit card was, or if you don't have one yet, what card you're considering getting. So the Discover It Cashback card offers 1% on all purchases and 5% on different rolling categories that change every three months of the year. You're also gonna get a cash cashback match at the end of your first year. So really you're getting 2% back on everything and 10% on the rolling categories, which if you plan carefully can add up to a lot of cash back at the end of the year. Now you also have a very high chance of approval with this credit card. I was able to get it with absolutely no credit history and they gave me a $1,500 line of credit, which at the time I thought was insane. Now, if you don't wanna go on the app every few months and activate the rolling categories, then this probably isn't the card for you. But in my opinion, it's really not that bad, especially considering you're getting 10% back on those rolling categories in your first year because of that cash back match. In my opinion, this is the best card to start with if you have absolutely no credit history and it's a fantastic account to keep open for a long extended period of time to build up your credit history. 
Also, just a quick side note, if you do decide to apply for the Discover It credit card, there is a referral link down in the description. The first 10 people that click on that referral link and are approved will get a $50 statement credit, which is basically a $50 gift card that you can spend anywhere. So if you do feel like the Discover It card is the right card for you, go ahead and click that referral link. You'll get $50 and I'll get $50 as well and it'll help support my channel and you'll get something in return as well. And now number one on our list, the holy grail of all credit cards, the Apple credit card. Anyone who knows anything about credit cards just lost all their faith in me. No, Apple credit card is not the first card on this list. Number one on our list is the City Double Cash card. This is similar to the Discover It, but it has no rolling categories. And you actually get 2% back on everything that you purchase. So you get 1% when you purchase it and 1% when you pay off the card. And you should always be paying off the card because you'll never carry a balance on this card, ever. So 2% cash back on everything is pretty substantial and beats out a lot of the competing cards and other cards that we looked at on this list. I really couldn't find any cons about this card. There is a 3% foreign transaction fee, but if you don't travel abroad that often, then this really isn't that big of a deal. Now getting approved for this card isn't quite as easy as the Discover It card, but this is a fantastic option if you do have some sort of credit history and getting 2% cash back on everything is pretty substantial. And the best part about this card is that all of this is yours for the low price of free. Just like the Discover It card, the City Double Cash card has no annual fee. So those are the five best credit cards, in my opinion, for 2020. Let me know if you think that I missed anything and let me know what card you're thinking about getting in the comments down below. Thank you so much for checking out my video. If you got value out of it, go ahead and drop a like on the video and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.